We got a new drum set, so we're gonna set it up and talk about it. Hey, what's up? I'm Travis. And I'm Tyler. This is Twisted Transcription Studios. So, like we said, we got a new drum kit. We're gonna set it up, put it on the big screen here. We're gonna be down in this corner and we're gonna tell you about it. So Tyler, tell us what's up with this new kit. This is a Mapex Mars series that I've been talking about, wanting to get for a while now. Finally got it. Um, it's great so far. It looks cool as hell. Right. Um, it's got like a wood grain feel on it. I was really surprised because I was thinking it was going to be slick. All right. um, my old kit was a Pearl Form series. I've had it for like 10 or 12 years now. Uh, it's nothing fancy about it. It's just a carbon fiber design. Um, I did leave one of the toms at the house. This one is different than my other one. My other one had two rack toms that sat up on top of the bass drum. This one has a uh, rack tom that mounts to the cymbal stand. A little aggravating to put on, I'm not gonna lie. I've yeah, never messed with one. You'll see that in a second. Man, I was getting frustrated. Um, I told him I was getting like a core workout from doing it because I was just <laughs> ah, grunting and whatnot. Anyway, this one's got two floor toms instead of two rack toms. And I left one at the house. So what we did for this video's purposes, just because we are on mic and all of the drums, is set up one, his old Tom from the old kit on it. I say that while I'm micing it, but just to reiterate. Yeah, just to show you the whole mic setup. Anyway, um, yeah, this is the most aggravating part of being a drummer besides hauling it. Actually, I'd rather load them up and haul them than set them up. I hate setting up. It's so aggravating. It wasn't that bad in here because we had the worst part taken care of, cymbals. I hate having to redo my cymbals. Right. Like moving just, anything on the cymbals is a pain. Yeah, adjusting like the arms and the heights and everything. <laughs> so what we did is we just moved them all to the side or took them out. I think we left them all in the room. Yeah, left them all in the room. Just moved them all to the side. Pulled the old drums out and set it up. Right. You really only had to move one cymbal and that was the ride, right? Yeah. Adjust it. That is. Um, you may be able to tell in the shots, the tom, the four toms are two different heights. They're the same diameter, but the heights are different right. my old floor tom compared to the new one. The new one is shorter. I'm not sure on the exact measurements. I probably should look that up, but I didn't. So Tyler, your, your previous drum was what kind of wood? It was like their mix of their own special blend wood, Pro pearl wood. Proprietary blend. Yeah, it's weird. Right, and this one is? Nine ply birch, I believe. Nine ply birch. So there you have a complete difference there. And there's no telling what pearl's proprietary form that means. That could mean Ah, uh, we've got a great blend of wood. Or it could mean, ah, uh, we took the floor sweep and put yeah. them in your drums. Yeah, it was just a bottom line kit. This is a little step up. It's still not a... All right, this one's considered, what, an intermediate kit? Yeah, it's like a mid-range kit. I think it was like five, six hundred dollars. Yeah, that's like... Plus, it that's, varies depending that's, on where you get from. It's like buying the 400 to 700 dollar guitar. That's an intermediate player. We've got all the dimensions and everything in the link above. We compared a uh, 500 dollar budget versus a thousand dollar budget in that video so check that out yeah i'll tell you about everything about this kit because like i said i've been eyeballing it for a while finally got it super stoked so before uh i know i know you used to have a secret way of keeping your bass pedal on right <laughs> man i had like a piece of cardboard folded up under it because it wouldn't clamp over it and i know what you're thinking well it comes with a little rubber mount i lost it years ago and it didn't do no good anyway it fell off every time i went to move them piece of but um <laughs> yeah this one actually lifts the bass drum off the ground on the front my last one did not it barely did this is like midway through is off the ground and then once you put the pedal in it lifts the back side up you know like a bass drum should be so right. yeah that's nice that, the lip on that bad boy is like yeah, that thick. thick man it's I mean, nice it's, it's something else uh the quality between is 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 incredible i mean it's just, it's just a completely, it's just a higher quality looking kit. And we haven't even really played with it. No, nah, I ain't even changed the heads on it. And that will be the first thing that happens because the heads are garbage. They are Remos, which is better than the Pearl ones that I had on my last set on the resin head anyway. Right. Um, so that is a step up. But you're an aquarium player, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm actually probably going to put Remos on this. Yeah. The Remo pinstripe. I do like those. I don't know. It'll change. I change them every couple months. Um, yeah, for like comparing the prices of how much I spent on the 
Pearl back in the day. I think I spent like $400 on them. Right. And this was only like, I can't remember exactly, it was like five or six. Look it up. <laughs> but oh, hundred dollars more, and you get a better sounding kit with better heads, better framework. Like it's just Real nicer. Yeah. Like, not bashing Pearl because right. that's a good brand. I yeah. still use their pedals and stands. They and make stuff. really incredible top end drums. Yes, um, and that's not bad for a starter kit. We played on that. Yeah, for a long for time. years. So but I, mean, I, I feel like you've also run into it, Pearl being the massive name that it is. I mean, when you think of drums, you think of Pearl. Um, the massive name that it has become. I feel like it has really had to create a market for those beginner and intermediate players because Pearl is the first thing they search for, you know? Yeah. So I feel like that's why you maybe have a little lapse in quality between that $500 range on both these kits because Mapex really isn't marketing super hard towards that beginner market. Yeah. I mean, most of their kits are intermediate and up. Well, they haven't even been around that long. I think they come out in like the 80s. I'm not sure, don't quote me. But they haven't been around long, I know that. But they're really making a name for themselves. Like, I first got hold of them with the Black Panther snare that I have that I've talked about thousands of times already. <laughs> but it's just, I was like, man, I've yeah. got to get some of that. That is a like, quality snare. Kits. Quality snare. Yeah. And I mean, if, if that shows kind of work they can do, I mean, I can only imagine what their top end kits are like. Dude. You got five grand, go drop it down and get you a nice set from Apex. I don't, so I'm sticking with the Mars. <laughs> That's about all we can say about this kit in particular. Make sure you stay tuned for our next video where we mic this bad boy up. Being as it's a fresh setup, we're going to get really in depth about where we're placing mics and why we're placing mics. Yes, we've talked about it before in a previous video, but that was a really rough run through. So right. be sure to check this one out to see how to do it the right way. Exactly. So. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the comment button and the bell. Find us on Instagram and Facebook at Twisted Transcription. And we will see you next time. So what we're going to do is uh, set this kit up on screen here. And we're going to be down in the corner talking your way through it. Talking our way through it. Talking our all ways through it. We're going to fuck you. <laughs>